Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Polly Michelle, and I am going to be planning in my mini happy planner for the week of April 10th through the 16th. I have not been using this planner because it is for school, and I am currently not taking classes right now until August, so I haven't really been using it. But I decided that I'm not going to just let all these pages go to waste. I am going to use it for uh, like personal planning. So I am going to still try to get some use out of it. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to go ahead and plan uh, for those this week coming. So some time ago I went on Pinterest and you know I was looking up for some printables and I found a few nice printable designs and I kind of just saved them until I got some sticker paper and when I got some sticker paper I went on ahead and printed them all out of course I don't have a silhouette so they are not cut I will have to cut them myself but um, I did do that with this little knife situation that you see me using a lot um, this is from the Dollar Tree it comes in a pack of three and it's this little thing here you just push this up and then the blade comes out yeah but I don't you know I just do it a little bit because I don't want to cut through the paper but this comes in very handy when I am doing kiss cuts or um, st and, you know stuff like that so I've already done that to this semi kit and we'll be using this today so what this is is this is um, THP pink navy and gold sampler um, I printed this from myplannerenvy.com and this is everything that is here on this kit or this one page sampler kit or however you want to say it and I kind of already cut everything out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use try to just use this today for the planning of April 10th. So the only washi that I pulled is this gold washi that I purchased. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but this is the only washi that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting this washi on the tops and the bottoms of the pages. Okay, so I got the washi down. And this kit does have these really cute date covers. Um, I'm going to do that, but I kind of want to put some washi down like on each part and then put this on the side but I don't know which washi to use so I guess I have to go back and search in my collection and find some kind of washi I can use some pink okay, or something. So I pulled this washi because I think that this washi would blend. Let me get you a little closer. I felt like this washi would blend and this washi is from Recollections. It of course was in a set. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cover this part like that. And um, just like I told you guys before, my trick is if I cannot get this, like when I do this and you still can see through, if it's really bothering me, what I will do is uh, just put another layer over it and when you put another layer on top of it it'll cover okay, it up. So I got all that down and now I'm going to go through with these little date covers Set it there like that you can still see the black writing just a little bit behind it but you know what it's not it's not even really bothering me so I'm not going to pay any attention to it I'm just going to go through and put these dates on each day. Okay, so I got my dates everywhere uh, that I wanted to. And I must say, I am really, really enjoying the spread. I love the way it's looking so far. This, this washi is beautiful. It's very nice. So, we're going to go day by day. And I'm just going to kind of just put down things. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is my notes section. For my notes so, section here, this little green box. I'm going to cover that up with a full box here. Well, not even a full box. It's like a... It's a half box. So, I'm going to use this little half box. It looks like little 
porcupine, I mean not porcupine, honeycombs on it, but I think I'm going to line the bottom of the note section with some of this washi just to, just to make everything line together. And now I'm going to just add a little bit of the deco that's here. So that's so far what I have in the notes section. And I'm just going to add this little quote that says, Make Your Own Sunshine. I'm going to cut it down just a tad. And that's just going to bring some of that navy blue in there a little bit. And now I think I'm going to leave the notes section like that. I'm going to go ahead and put down this weekend banner. We'll do that next. I'm going to go back up. I don't know if I should put it like that or... I think I'm going to put it up here. Should I put it up there? Because, you know, Friday, isn't Friday a part of the weekend? I mean, so many people don't do that, but I think, like, Friday is a part of the weekend. I just don't like the way that looks up there. So I'm just going to put it right here. We'll just do weekend. I think I'm going to cut that white out a little bit better. Okay, I got the weekend banner down. All right, so let's just go kind of go day by day um, from what I know right now. So Monday I'm going to be working Tuesday I'm going to be working I'm going to be off Wednesday I'm working Thursday I'm off Friday and Saturday. So work is Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. So, what am I going to use for work? <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to use these little gold balls in the kit to denote work. So, I'm just going to like drop this right here. Oops. It's just like a little gold ball. It's super cute. And then I work on Tuesday. This one is a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to actually... I'm going to put work on this side that day. And then... I work on Thursday. And we'll put work back on this side. Okay, so that's all for work. I'm actually going to skip over to um, Wednesday. And I'm going to put this like half box, this glitter half box down. Because I'm going to wash my hair on Wednesday. I'm off. I'm going to wash my hair. So I'm going to put that there for me to wash it. I have my a hair. few strips. This one says stop and smell the roses. So we're just going to put that here just to tie in some of this navy. And then Wednesday is my day off, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some things to do. So I'm going to put this glitter checklist on Wednesday. And I'm just going to put it like this. And I'll probably, let me cut it down to four and stuff on Wednesday because that's my off day. And a lot of the stuff in this kit I will be saving for my classic Cappy planner because these things are just a little too big for this planner in a way, in a way. Okay. Um, Thursday is a work day. So when it's a work day, I'm off like all morning. 
So that's the time that I get to run my errands and like I have to go to work at 5. I will have to be to work at 5 so I really don't do much. So I'm just going to jot down that I'm going to run some errands on Thursday. I'm use this box. It's a pretty big box but I'm just going to use it for decoration and I'm just going to kind of just sit it. I don't know if it's going to stick on this washi. I'm going to sit it over here. So I can put more than one task on this box. Is that crooked? Yeah, that's crooked. Crooked. I gotta fix it. Okay, so that's that. And I'm gonna top it off with this little deco piece. It says glitter. So cute. Just trying to tie in the blue wherever I can. And then we're going to go to Friday, which is a off day. I have two services to go to. It's actually Good Friday. So I'm going to be going to a service in the morning. And I'm going to be going to a service in the evening. So that whole day is actually going to be busy. So I'm going to use the same thing that I use for my dates, except they do have a blank one here. So I'm just going to use this blank one to denote Good Friday. So we'll just put this over here and then we'll just write in Good Friday we'll to mark that. what I have to do on Friday which is a lot of stuff oh my gosh it's a lot of stuff it is I must say they have a lot of full boxes here that I know won't will not fit so I kind of want to use just this plain pink one but I know it's not gonna fit so I'm gonna actually just cut it down I'm gonna put it here and kind of just cut it down and I'm just going to take my ruler, oh gosh, and I'm just going to line it up against that washi and I'm just going to use my cutter and just pull down and just like cut that half off. So there we go. So now we got like a half of a box and if I want to use the other half someplace else like that, like that, like that, I mean up here like this. I definitely can because I have yeah. another hat. So there's two, um, two things going on. And we don't have like any little asterisks in this kit. So I'm going to just pull in my collection. And I'm going to try to pick some darker colors to pull out. Um, we don't have navy blue asterisks here. So I'm just going to use some clear black ones. Yeah, so that's that. And Saturday... And Sunday. Saturday, um, I'm off work, so I'll probably do something with my son, something fun. And Sunday, I'll probably do something. We have Easter on Sunday. So I'm probably going to be, my daughter's going to be home too. So we're going to definitely do something fun on Saturday. I don't know what yet, but. They have a good, they have a very broad imagination, so I'm pretty sure they'll come up with something. So I'm just going to put this here, just kind of stretch across both of the days. But it's not going to be pretty much for both of the days. It's going to be just like Easter weekend, per se. So I went to my Mombi sticker books, and I pulled out this sticker that says Hanging Out With Friends. So I'm going to put that here, even though I'm going to be hanging out with my kids. I may invite some of my girlfriends to bring their kids. And then I have this sticker that says make this moment count. And I'm just going to put this right here over the notes. I think it's kind of crooked. Because that's going to be a really nice weekend with the family. Oh yeah, that's going to be really so. nice. And also from the Mambi sticker book, I found this little sticker that says have fun. 
So I'm just going to drop that there. And yeah. So my the most of my activities are towards the end of the week as you can see. But the beginning of the week is looking a little dry. So um, Monday and Tuesday are work days. But like I said those are the days that I don't go in until 5. So I very well may be running some errands. So I will put a full box. Well, a half box up here. So I got this one out of the kit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it here off to the corner. But I think I'm going to have to cut it down a smidget. Because I, it's, you know, of course it's covering everything. And I don't want it to do that. So I am going to cut it down. And I want it to sit right there on this line because I'm going to go in with a little bit of washi and yeah so I'm just going to straight across and if you guys don't use too much pressure it's going to be fine if you use a lot of pressure you're cutting through the page and you don't want to cut through the page okay so let me grab a little decorative washi so I'm just going to change a few things because this is the only thing I could find to bring some cohesion. I didn't want to put a glitter washi there because it was kind of out of place. So what I am going to do is I'm going to pull this up and this right here I'm going to pull up because um, I just don't like the end the way the end looks. So I'm going to try something really quick. Okay, so that is done. I kind of feel like that's a little too harsh back there, but I think it's going to be okay. I am going to pull a little deco for this little area just to change things up a little. And then I think we're going to be done with this spread. I really do think so. Okay, so I cut this little pink flower out from the kit. I'm just going to add that there to add a little touch of the pink to that area so that it would not be so harsh. And I think that's, I think I'm going to stop there. I don't think I'm going to, this is a mini kit so it's like a lot going on and I don't want to over, I don't want to do too much in my little mini kit. Okay, so that's everything. This is what I have left on my, um, sampler sheet. I have some full boxes, half of, <laughs> two half boxes that I created, some little more deco, another half box, some strips. I have these habit trackers and these to goes and all that and this washi strip that I'm not going to be using in this spread today, So, but I could use this another time. This was super easy. Um, I liked working with this kit and like I said before, you guys can check out uh, myplannernv.com and um, print out your own printables. She has so many beautiful ones um, on I did there. print out two. And I can show you the other one I print out was this one. This one is the other one I print out. is Bronze and Mint Sampler. And this is how this one looks. And yeah, I thought this was really cute. So I'm just waiting to get a copper washi to go with that. As soon as I get a copper washi to go with that, I'll be able to use that kit. But anyway, yeah, that is it. And this is the end of this uh, plan with me. This is before the pen. And I'm going to leave it like this before the pen. I'm not going to do the pen right now. So... If you guys don't like that, I apologize, but I'm just going to end this video here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have a mini happy planner and you don't know how to use it, give me a thumbs up. You know, we'll try to make it through together. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, just um, list them down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would really help me and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.